I've done all kind of different projects and played plenty up tempo tunes and, and did the Latin stuff in the Shell Choir and uh, various quintet combinations, but you know, I, I really love ballet. It was such a joy to play with this rhythm section. The great Buster Williams on the bass, whose tone was unmatched. Steve is um, got one of the sweetest trombone sounds in the business, and a real knack for playing ballads. And, uh, so it's, it's a real great, it's a, it's a real pleasure. Candy. Kenny Barrett, what an accomplished as well as so much. They're both on the highest level. But this is uh, the second record I've done with Steve, and it's always a pleasure. And the ever taste drumming from Willie Jones. It was just such a joy. And of course, my special guest on guitar, Russell Malone. He's a ballad specialist. I first met Steve to read almost 30 years ago, and I've always liked the sound that he got out of the horn, because that's the first thing you hear. When you hear a person play, you, you focus in on the sound, and then you start to pay attention to what they're actually playing. He plays with taste, good repertoire, all the qualities that a jazz musician is supposed to have. I mean, he's got his own sound, he's inventive. When he asked me to play on this recording, and he told me who the personnel was, I mean, it was pretty much a no-brainer. His solo on Never Let Me Go is one of my favorite highlights of the whole album. When I did decide to do this ballad recording, the first thing I did was call Marty Scheller. And when this project came about, he told me that he wanted me to do the string arrangements using the same concept of not writing a lot, but just writing some pretty notes and long tones for him to play. And I think he did a great job, and the string players were a pleasure. <laughs> string section. These young people from Juilliard, I'm so blessed to have them. Their spirit was equaled by their performance. So, that about does it.